fortunate your troubles with your mother were resolved. Persephone, I mean. To think I led all of my family to believe your mother was the goddess Nyx instead. It seems I was an unwitting accomplice to a bit of a deception there. But Nyx, I know she merely tried to help. Yeah, I find that it's difficult to maintain my connection with many consciousnesses, such as yours and that of the goddess Nyx. Yet I'm also finding that this difficulty is fully warranted. Our connections give me much to consider as I await our next exchange. raucous time down there with your old father and Persephone was she at sight I never thought I'd see her again so then we're one big happy family at last well you've a job to do and we upon Olympus will do our fair share Prince said my understanding is the Queen herself is back is that correct moreover I have heard a truly fascinating rumor about her that I'm her son it's true sir and she's back with us for now indeed I think we're all still getting used to it, but it feels good having her in my life. That's wonderful to hear. I'd always heard good things about that one. No wonder such a quality runs in the family. You're a good friend, Baldy. I'm glad you're here. Pleasure. Uh... So... Well, Zag. May I have this dance for all time's sake? Everybody on Olympus there still going on about Persephone, queen of the underworld. They had no idea she was down there all along, none whatsoever, cuz. And as for me, now I can deliver you my blessings more officially, I think. Oh, you think you've a chance in hell without my help but might understand? You made a big mistake there, little Hades. Just you watch. Don't be mad, Uncle. You weathered the storm there, little Hades. And the sea is once again at peace. And you will make every attempt to keep it that way, correct? I have to tell you, Zagreus, that it was wonderful to meet with you at last. We were so pleased to learn Persephone was safe. And Nick's why she's as stunning as they say. Shouldn't have lied to us about your parentage, but... I know things get complicated here, and that what's done is done. Hey, you're singing in the blood after all, Orpheus. Thank you for taking my request. Oh, it is certainly my pleasure, Zagreus. This song of Eurydice's and mine, I have a connection to it, I suppose. Reminded me of some fond memories. Just thinking about you. Death is inevitable. Your father's force is making trouble for you, Zag. Can you deal death faster than I? Let's find out. Hey, I didn't mean to lay the guilt on you for what you did for Orpheus, Zag. I just worry when we get involved. We can make matters worse. You haven't ever made anything worse then. But as for me, I realized what you meant. I was so eager to do something for Orpheus when I first met Eurydice, I never asked them if it was okay. At least things turned out well for them, but that was fortunate. Family troubles, personal relations, and the like. It's sensitive business. Though, who am I to talk? You didn't ask me to show up like this. I'm glad you did though, Fan. There's been considerable talk of late about the Queen Persephone, stranger. Your mother, it would seem. Sounds to me your tale's almost as complicated as my own. It's a long story at this point indeed. But yes, the Queen, my mother, she's returned. And it's been really good having her back. I can only begin to imagine. May she help govern all of this with wisdom and with grace. Everyone's saying that the Queen is back. Do you know what that means, short one? Well, for me at least, it happens to mean quite a bit. I'm her son. It doesn't mean a thing. We're still here to fight. Though for what is worth, my mother also was a Queen. May yours treat you better than she treated me. Better than I'm about to treat you here. 
Please fight with me again, Asterius. I mean, just like before. You must forgive me my indecencies of late. This blasted fiend, his lies and treachery get right under my skin. Or the phantasmagorical equivalent. Swear something to me, King. That you'll discard your fears about her bond. The short one here is never going to break it. He doesn't even understand it. The only one who can break it is you yourself. I... Oh, my dear friend Asterius. I see, of course, you're right. You're right. You're right! And I solemnly do swear to you indeed that I shall never again doubt our brotherhood. Nor shall I ever listen to this fiend. Together, now and always. Well, glad that's a bit then. Our messenger Hermes has been in contact with you by now, yes? Perhaps you shall not see him very often, for my work keeps him rather preoccupied shepherding souls and such. Prince Zagreus once more offers to Cerberus one of his favorite sacks. Bye for now, boy. Hate to keep you from your parchment work. No matter how often you defeat me, I shall face you here. Welcome to the House of Hades, and thanks for dying. You have to tell me more about this pact you signed, Achilles. You and Patroclus. So you're doomed to never be together, then? You must safeguard the details of it, lad. Although it's not as bad as you make out. I ensured Patroclus is provided for. We wouldn't have been together anyway. Initially, he wasn't sent into Elysium, you see. There has to be a way for me to make this right. Not just for him, for you. You have other pressing matters to attend to, lad. And Patroclus and I have ample time to wait this out. I know you mean well, but... Do not discuss this matter with your father now. I fear that it could make things worse. Do you understand? I do. I think. Sorry, Zag. Your mother's very clever, Zagreus. I always thought you got that from your father. Now I'm not so sure. So all is well with the Olympians again? For now, I think it is. But you know how they are. How we all are, I guess. Huh. Yes, indeed. Well then. I guess enjoy it while it lasts, as mortals sometimes say. I'll see you out there. Bye, then. <laughs> Cerberus is uninterested in conversing at this time. I'll see you later, then. You seem quite agitated as of late, my friend. Is anything amiss with you, perhaps? Oh, no, I'm all right, Orpheus. Just a lot on my mind is all. Sorting out what's next. Stuff I need to work through on my own. Ah, oh, well, I truly understand. I was reluctant to discuss my long-lost muse, really, for quite some time. Well, if you do require some emotional support, know that I likely shall be standing over here. Appreciate it, mate. Hey, Orpheus, you know I once wrested this bottle of ambrosia from the champions of Elysium, defeating them two against one, just so I could bring it here to you personally? Please, my friend. I feel I am undeserving of such a relentless show of kindness on your part. I shall accept, but you'll relent, won't you? As well as forgive me. Mate, if that is your wish, then it will be my pleasure to oblige. Though may this gift symbolize the strength of our friendship for an eternity to come. I've learned so much from you. Thank you, my friend. Would that I had capacity to take some joy from this. She has departed once again, your birth mother, the Queen. Although it was not as difficult to see her off this time, knowing she shall return. It must be difficult for her, returning to Olympus. She had no love for it at all. I hope she'll be all right. Do not despair. We have ways of watching over her. Not that I expect anything untoward to happen, but... Well, with your family... One learns to take precautions, as you know. 
I'll miss her. So shall I. But it shall not be long, I think. So the Olympians are backing you officially now? They're doing their part to help the family business, finally. Lord Hades probably never thought he'd see the day. Knight? You know what I mean. Seems only fair they should help in some capacity. They all work together on the surface, and let's face it, they're responsible for a good number of shades pouring into this realm. Least they can do is help shore up the whole there is no escape reputation we've got. By making you unfairly stronger by the time you try to get through me. Trying to bore me to death with all this chit chat, pal? 